If you're a student or a professional trying to transition into cybersecurity specifically within the security operations domain and become a SOC analyst, I got some great news for you. Over the past couple months, I have been head down creating a course specifically tailored to become an amazing SOC analyst. And I wanted to give you a sneak peek into what you can expect if you do choose to enroll into this course. Now we will go over refreshers on some of the topics that you should know. You will learn about the SOC and the different roles that exist along with what makes a great SOC. The best part of this course is the art of investigation section where you will learn how to develop better questions, quick tips on what to look for during investigations, and how to provide a report to clients and stakeholders that has value. You will get over 30 hands-on labs that will develop your investigative skills and understanding of TTPs, tactics, techniques, and procedures. All of these labs will be done on your machine. I will provide you with some tips to help you prepare for a job as a SOC analyst. You will also be creating multiple projects that are extremely valuable to have on your resume. Your skills will be put to the test in a final capstone, which is an environment with over 1.2 million events and over seven gigs worth of PCAP. In the final capstone, you're in the middle of an incident and your objective is to find out what had happened using everything you learned. The best part, I am acting as the client, so you will have to send me the report and I will be providing you with critical feedback. You'll also have access to an exclusive course community and more information about this in the future. There will be some prerequisites that you should be aware of. Now, ideally, you should have a basic understanding of cybersecurity, IT, and networking. If you have former education in cybersecurity, that is a bonus because the material I teach can be a bit overwhelming if you are brand new. As for computer requirements, ideally you should have a Windows computer with at least 16 gigs of RAM and 250 gigs of disk space with VMware installed. If you do not meet these specifications, you should still be able to take the labs, but you might experience some technical difficulties during the project section. The other option is to use the cloud to perform some of the labs and projects. If you have an ARM Mac, so an M1, M2, and M3, virtualization will not play nice, which I do not recommend. If you do not have another laptop that you can use, the other option is to use cloud to perform some of the labs and projects. To get the most out of this course, I would highly recommend you have a Windows machine. After taking this course, are you guaranteed to get a job? <laughs> Definitely not. But you will learn the skills to become an amazing SOC analyst. This course isn't about learning how to use a single tool. It's about how to investigate and what to look for. And then your tools will help you speed up that process. You must first understand the data then understand the tactics, techniques, and procedures, and then you will become a deadly SOC analyst. All 30 plus labs will touch on this aspect, and I am not kidding when I say you will learn the skills to become an amazing SOC analyst. If you want a sneak peek into how I teach, I would highly encourage you watch my mini SOC course and both the SOC automation project and the active directory project to get a feel of what to expect from the course. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to join the waitlist. And I'll be announcing the price shortly once I begin finalizing the material. If your domain of interest in cybersecurity is security operations, you do not want to miss out on this course.